Want to build your own tools for your AI agent to use? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own custom MCP server with tools so you can define what your agent can actually do. So whether it's sending an email, querying a database, or controlling hardware, custom servers give you full control over your agent's capabilities. To build your own MCP server, you'll need a solid foundation, and that's where the MCP Python SDK comes in. It provides everything you need to define tools, handle requests, and expose capabilities in a way your agent can understand. As you're building your custom server, testing and debugging is key, and thankfully, the SDK has you covered. It includes a built-in debugger that lets you monitor your server in real time. So let's bring everything together with an example. We're going to create a weather agent that uses tools to get the forecast. By the way, everything that I'm sharing in this video is available within a template in the AI toolkit. So you can follow along and learn how to create your own custom server as well. So here in the AI toolkit, I'm within the agent builder. I've created a brand new agent called weather agent. I'm using GPT 4.0 as my model and I'm using that via GitHub models. And from here, the next thing that I need to do is now navigate down to this tools section and I'm going to select plus MCP server. So I have some servers already here that I've used for prior needs, but now I need to actually add a server. So I'm going to select add server. We have three options here. You can either use featured MCP servers. And so these are MCP servers available from Microsoft that we have built here at Microsoft. Then we have the option to connect to an existing MCP server. So if I do have a server running, I can connect to that with the AI toolkit. And then the last option is to create a new MCP server. And that's what we're going to be doing today is creating a brand new one. So selecting that, I now see that we have two templates available. You can create your MCP server either with TypeScript or Python. I'm a Python girl, so I'm going to select to do the Python dash weather one. Now, as you've noticed, I'm creating a weather agent and it happens to have a template available for a weather tools. That is the template that we provide as an example. If you're brand new to creating a custom MCP server, it gives you the setup that you'll need to follow. So that's what we're going to go through in this video. So selecting Python, now I need to select a folder to save this to. And so I have a folder of MCP servers. I'm going to select that one. It's the default folder, but you could browse anywhere else if necessary. And then I need to give the MCP server a name. So I'm going to call this one weather underscore MCP. And then from there, press enter. So a new window is going to pop up within Visual Studio Code. So yes, I do wanna trust the authors of the files in this folder because what we are actually giving you is a folder of all the files that you'll need to create your own custom MCP server. So this is the template itself. So the readme itself is actually going to be the most helpful way for us to understand what's actually inside this folder that we provided you. Inside, I have a weather tool and that provides mock weather information based on a given location. So we're not actually pulling in the information from an API. We're using mock information because right now we're creating the prototype for an agent. And then I have the ability to connect to the agent builder itself. So that allows you to connect to the MCP, um, connect the MCP server to the agent builder. And you can use that for testing and debugging, which is uh, super helpful if you are trying to figure out what's going on with your tool calls that the agent's doing. And then we also can debug in the MCP inspector. And so we did touch upon what the inspector was earlier, but this will enable us to debug the MCP server using the actual MCP inspector. So if I scroll down this readme, we have information on how to get started. I'm actually going to take you through everything that you need to do in here. But if you are trying this on your own, do read through this readme. There's a lot of good, helpful information in here, but it's not much to get started. Uh, even here at Prepare Environment, this is really it. This is really all that you need to do. Let's start exploring the tools that we have available within this MCP server. And I'll point out where you can actually make your own changes if you are creating your own server from scratch and you're using this template. So let's go find the tools themselves. 
that's going to be inside this src folder and select the file that says server.py. In here is where I can see how I would need to set up the tools. And I only have one tool for this example, but if you are adding multiple tools because you're creating something from scratch, you can copy and paste everything that we have here and then uh, copy it, paste it below, do a similar setup. Let's go through what's actually happening here. So we have this function that's called get weather. And what it does is that it gets weather for whatever defined location we give it. And so one of the arguments that it's going to take, it's going to be the location itself. So whether that's going to be the city name, the state, maybe you're passing in coordinates. And if a location is not passed in, then we're going to return as a string location is required. So here is the mock weather data that we're using. So again, we're not pulling from an actual, or we're not actually doing an API call. We have some mock data here to help us with testing this out. So we have these conditions here and the conditions are going to be sunny or rainy or cloudy or snowy. And then the weather itself within this dictionary here, I have First, the location, which again is one of the arguments that we're going to pass in to the get weather function that's above. We also have the temperature itself. This is going to be some random integer between 10 and 90, and we're going to format that to be in degrees Fahrenheit. And then for the condition, this is just going to be um, a random choice from, this, uh, from the conditions uh, list that we have here. And so what it's going to return is going to be this weather that's right here. The agent will then take that and then the agent will generate a prompt as output back to us. So because we're passing in mock weather data, that's why we define that here within this server tool itself. In a real world situation, you would likely do an API call to return this information. You would extract the information that you need out and then that would be passed to the agent for the agent's response. And there are different ways you can parse out the location from any given prompt that you submit. Uh, two that comes to mind, one, you can use a large language model actually where you define these, um, how do I call it? you define the instructions for it to follow to actually parse the location out from any given prompt. My preferred way to do it is to use a LangChain parser, and I've done an actual setup with this for an actual weather agent that gets the weather using the weather API. So there are ways around, there's ways to do that. We don't show that per se here in this particular example, but in case you're, 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 the, you're sitting there and you're wondering, well, how do I get the actual weather from a prompt? That's how, or at least two ways you can go about doing that. All right, so I'm getting us <laughs> off track. Heading back over to the README, I am ready to actually run this server so we can chat with it with our agent. So what we need to begin with is actually preparing our environment. We had two approaches. You can either use UV or PIP. So to kick things off, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this terminal. Let's create that virtual environment. I'm going to use the pip instructions. And so here within the terminal, let's create that environment. So now that we have the virtual environment created, let's go ahead and activate that. We can do that with the command dot v e n v backslash scripts backslash activate. And now the virtual environment has been activated. So now the final thing we need to do is install the dependencies and we need to include the dev dependencies as well. So the command is in the readme. Going to type in pip install minus e dot, and then we have a bracket for dev. And this will start to install the dependencies that we'll need so we can actually start running this custom server that has been created. We have our dependencies installed, so let's now run this server. We need to navigate to the debug panel. And then once we're here in the debug panel, we need to select this option that says debug an agent builder. You can also press F5 to kick things off. So I'm gonna press that on my keyboard to start it. And so it is executing the task. So here within the agent builder in the tools section, I do see that I have a local server for my weather MCP server. And the one tool that we have is get weather. 
I do need to pass in a user prompt. So I'm going to say, what's the weather in Los Angeles? Let's run that. All right, so let's see what's happening here. I'm gonna try to close this terminal as best as I can. We'll open that up in a bit. So on the right hand side now, in this prompt tab, I can see the model response itself. Based on the prompt that I passed in, which is what's the weather in Los Angeles, it did pull out the location. Now, if you recall earlier back in server.py, one of the arguments or the argument that we need to pass in to get the get weather function is location. So we did get that from the prompt. We now can see the tool response. So the tool has indicated that the location is Los Angeles. The temperature is 15 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be awfully cold if that was real. And then the condition is cloudy. As a reminder, back in server.py, the way that we set this up is that we have this list of conditions and we're going to select one at random. And then in this weather dictionary that we have here, we have the location is whatever location gets extracted from the prompt. And then we have the temperature is going to be a random integer between 10 and 90. So this has done exactly what we wanted it to do, was also able to extract the right information out. And then we finally get the model response. And the model tells us the weather in Los Angeles is currently 15 degrees with cloudy skies. This is awesome, y'all. So keep in mind, we are debugging right now in the Agent Builder, which is part of the AI Toolkit. Alternatively, you can debug with the MCP Inspector. Coming back to the README, we have instructions for how to use the MCP inspector instead. You will need to ensure that Node.js is installed, but let's go ahead and open this terminal back up and I'm going to stop this, close this connection. And then once everything's complete, I am going to follow the instructions that we have here in the README to get things set up. So we'll just force this. Okay clear what we have here. All right, we need to go into the inspector directory, which by the way, that's the inspector directory in case you're wondering where that came from. Once we are in there, we now need to run npm install. And then similar to how we started debugging with the agent builder, we're going to open up the VS Code debug panel and select the dropdown at the top. This time we're going to select debug in inspector for edge, since I'm using edge in this case. And then I can now press F5. So this is now going to launch the MCP inspector. And once we're in there, we can continue there. So things seem to be looking okay. Here in the terminal is where I can find the status of the inspector. This other one that's spinning in a circle, this is actually the MCP server that we have running. So I need to navigate to this local host, 5173. And now that I'm here, I need to select the appropriate transport type. You have two options, STDIO as well as SSE. We're going to select SSE. And then we need to pass in the URL for where our server is running. And so in this case, I'm on this particular location and then forward slash SSE. And then we need to connect to it. If everything has worked out great, you will be connected. And then from here, navigate over to tools and list tools. And now I can see all the tools that I have available for my custom MCP server. And then I can select the tool and now I can actually pass in a value for that location argument. So let's say this time I want to use Paris. And then if I run the tool, I can see that this was successful. I'm able to see that for the location, Paris was the response there, or that's what's been parsed. The temperature in this case is going to be 79 degrees Fahrenheit, and then condition is going to be sunny. So very similar experience in terms of debugging. The interface is definitely going to be different, but you're going to get that same information that you're probably looking for when you are debugging an MCP server. So even down here in the history, for example, if I can see which calls we're done in terms of which tools were called. I can see here that in this particular request, the get weather tool was called and then the argument that we had was Paris. That wraps up the process of building and connecting your own custom tools to an AI agent. With the AI toolkit, you have everything you need to test, debug, and extend your agent's capabilities. 
Download the AI Toolkit at aka.ms slash AI Toolkit to start building your own custom tools.